For livestock related topics and free suggestions, subscribe our channel and click the bell icon. Hello friends and welcome to our channel Important Info. Dear viewers, as you better know that nowadays people they are more interested to have dairy farming because they are mentioning that dairy farming will have a great pace of profit rather than other activities rather than doing jobs or so while doing dairy farming we should consider various things those things that if we apply those we will have a great piece of farming or we will have a great piece of yield from our farming or if we are doing investment we will have a great piece of profit from that to, uh, to have a successful dairy farming we should consider few things not a lot of things but few things like having a great piece of housing system we should have manager for that we should have skillful people to manage all of the activities alongside this the most and the most important thing is feeding or balanced feed in this video we will be talking about the energy requirement of a cattle so let's start our video as energy required for animal is for maintenance pregnancy activity milk production and to gain body condition energy required for maintenance is shown in the table you can see it required for a cattle is depending on their live body weight because a cow having 500 kg live body weight will need the energy different rather than other animal or having 600 or 700 or 400 kg live body weight alongside all these we will have 5 percent extra energy for harvesting and shaving the feed because it's also a kind of activity the second thing is the activity of animal because when animal is active or uh, performing activities so it also required energy suppose we have dairy farming in flat areas and cattle they are grazing so or they are doing other activities so for one kilometer extra one megajoule metabolizable energy per kilometer is required and if we have farming in hilly areas or hilly countries then we will have 5 megajoule metabolizable energy per kilometer or we should prepare the balance speed which will have 5 megajoule metabolizable energy more rather than other feeds the third thing is the pregnancy pregnancy is also quite important because when animal is pregnant it will require more energy rather than non-pregnant animals so from conception till fifth month we should just have one megajoule metabolizable energy per day more rather than dry animal till fifth month after fifth month from six month till nine month we should have more energy rather than the first few month you can see those required energy in the table the fourth one is the milk production Milk production is quite important because when animal is producing suppose 10 liter of milk or 20 liter of milk so definitely it will require more energy rather than dry animal so for milk production we are considering the composition of milk because whenever a cow is producing 20 or 30 or 15 liter or 10 liter of milk it's definite that they will require more energy rather than dry animal or those animals which are not producing milk a cow is producing milk which has 2.6 percent protein and 3 percent fat this cow per liter of milk will require 4.5 megajoule metabolizable energy so after that we can calculate if a cow is producing 10 liter of milk multiply 4.5 by 10 or if it is producing 20 or 30 liter accordingly you can calculate that now we have uh, an example in which we have a cow having 550 kg live body weight and the cow is housed so it means no activity or no extra energy is required for activity. The cow is in the 6 month of pregnancy it means that uh, extra energy is required for the pregnancy 
and the cow is producing 13 liter of milk which has 3.6% fat and 3.2% protein so according to the composition of milk or according to the percentage of protein and fat we will be finding the required energy to solve the example we will first be finding the energy required for maintenance as we mentioned in the example that uh, the cow is having 550 kg live body weight so to maintain this weight the cow will need 59 megajoule metabolizable energy per day in this step we will be finding the required energy for milk production as we discussed earlier that uh, if you want to find the required energy for milk production we should know the composition of milk or we should know the protein and fat level of the milk so this table can indicate us that if a cow is producing the milk which has 3.2 percent protein and 3.6 percent fat so this cow will need 5.1 megajoule metabolizable energy per 1 liter of milk production the last step it is the calculation first 59 megajoule per day it means that uh, if a cow is having 550 kilogram live body weight so the cow will need 59 megajoule per day energy for the maintenance plus zero it means that uh, the cow is housed so no activity and no extra energy plus 8 it means that uh, the cow is in the 6 month of pregnancy or it is extra energy for the pregnancy so uh, all will become 67 megajoule per day second 5.1 megajoule per liter milk for 13 liter it means that uh, if a cow is producing the milk which has 3.6% fat and 3.2% protein this cow for 1 liter of milk will require 5.1 megajoule energy per liter of milk so here the cow is producing 13 liter of milk 5.1 into 13 it will become 66 and the ter third uh, total of 67 plus 66 it will become 133 the result is that if a cow is having 550 kilogram live body weight the cow is housed with no activity the cow is in the six month of pregnancy and producing 30 liter of milk which is 3.6% fat and 3.2% protein this cow will require 133 megajoule energy per day and do not forget that we should also have extra energy for the body condition whether that the cow is losing the body condition or gaining the body condition or whether the cow is gaining the weight or losing the weight